In this procedure, you will learn how to apply medication to one or both eyes, as ordered by the provider. Check the provider's order to determine which eye requires medication, as well as the name and strength of the medication to be used. Before you begin, sanitize your hands. Then, assemble your supplies. Check the expiration date of the solution. Follow medication safety procedures and check the label of the solution three times. First, when you remove it from the shelf. Second, when you assemble your supplies. And third, before administering the medication to the patient. Introduce yourself and confirm the patient's identity using her name and date of birth. I just need to check a couple of things with you. Could I get your full name and your date of birth? Kiki Moore, November 24th, 19... Explain the procedure to help put the patient at ease. So, Dr. Anderson would like me to administer a, a dose of Neosporin, and that's going to be some drops that are going to go in your eye. Okay. All right, so it, it shouldn't hurt, but it might feel a little uncomfortable for just a, a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Sanitize your hands. Before administering the medication, put on a pair of disposable gloves. Assist the patient into a sitting or supine position. I'll be using a gauze square just to pull down on your lower eyelid, okay. and that's going to create a nice little pocket for me to put that those eye drops in. Okay. okay. And I'm going to have you tilt your head back a little bit. Thank you. Ask the patient to tilt her head back and look up to help prevent the applicator's tip from touching her cornea during installation. For eye drops, remove the cap. With your non-dominant hand, Hold a piece of sterile gauze. Pull the lower conjunctival sac downward to create a pocket for the medication. Administer the prescribed number of drops or amount of ointment into the eye. For eye drops, place the drops in the center of the lower conjunctival sac with the tip of the dropper held parallel to the eye and one half inch above the eye sac. For eye ointment, squeeze a thin ribbon along the lower conjunctival sac from the inner canthus to the outer canthus, making sure not to touch the eye with the applicator. Have the patient close the eye and rub the eyelid in a circular motion. Wipe up any extra ointment. Dry any excess drainage. Explain that the medication may temporarily blur vision. And you're feeling all right? I'm feeling fine. Okay, I just want to warn you that your vision may be a little blurry for a little while after this. Okay. Oh, that should take care of that for today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Discard the unused medication. Remove your gloves along with the gauze and dispose of them in the biohazard waste container. Put on a new pair of gloves and disinfect the procedure area. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the patient's health record, including date and time, name and strength of the medication, dose administered, eye treated, teaching instructions given if treatment is to continue at home, and any observations.